Yeah. Yeah. Come on. riled up, they get me all warmed up, and then they just leave me. <laughs> so, I had a snack, I drank some water, and here I am. I just, just want to mellow out a little bit, and some chill tunes for you guys it's not really possible for me to only stream for one hour it's too short that was fun though I could barely even keep up with what was going on that was insane I'm working on mind numbing crap so glad you're back on <laughs> oh no problem feels good I'm already starting to uh, calm down a bit.
Drinking up the spout Ain't about to pout Figuring it out now Come on now Busy with it Getting jiggy with it oh. Getting a little bit A little bit of lady on it oh.
Nikki. Thank you. 
coming out again. Just needed to mellow out a little bit after that Funk Fest stream for a little while here. Um, it felt like it went by so quickly. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I just wanted to pack as much as I could into the Funk Fest set. And I didn't really have a chance to like keep up with chat or anything. It just kind of all happened in a flash. <laughs> so I wanted to get back here with you guys and just kind of mellow out and do some chill grooves. So I, I feel like I just got warmed up. It was it was fantastic. I really had a good time doing the Funk Fest. Super intense set, a lot of fun. Well, I just wanted to make it as funky as possible. And I ho hopefully I achieved that. I like these kind of raid train fests where they have like particular themes. And I try and stick to the theme as much as I can. Um, I have noticed that that certain streamers at certain times don't really stick to the funk theme or like the themes of these fests and there's, I guess there's nothing wrong with that but for me I want to when I only have an hour I want to bring as much funk into that as possible so it was a lot of fun but yeah I'm just feeling like I'm feeling a bit more calm and chilled out now uh, but I just couldn't help myself but come back on and, and play music for a little bit longer for whoever wants to listen. And uh, yeah, if you contributed anything, if I missed anything in the, in the set, uh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It was a lot of fun. take anything away from the festival I just wanted to get back on and stream some more so if you want to support the festival I do encourage you to check out all, make sure you're following all the artists from the festival and check them out if you can excited to to do an Elden Ring run and uh, anyway have a great sleep have a great day tomorrow Nikki and much love
guys make me happy. So thank you. Hey, thank you, Astral. I was trying to find some funky clothes. I got these, like, funky red pants, too. You can kind of see these funky shirts. I've got a couple different uh, disco ball backgrounds. Of course, I was using this one for the set, which is really cool. It always felt like that. It was like, you gotta set up your stuff really quickly, and then you, you play like a few songs, and then it's over, and you hardly even remember what happened. But at the same time, I like, I like the, like, keeping the sets to an hour length. Like, I think that's kind of cool, like... For the viewers, you get to experience more variety more often, and I'm into that.
Poco. We, we just did a Funk Fest set earlier tonight, which was a, a raid train festival that was put on by Orchestra Music, and it was pretty crazy. So I got some custom graphics and and outfit and stuff for the for the fest. I'm not sure if you were there. I don't think I saw you in there. But yeah. We're just chilling now. Doing some chill vibes. subs and the funk bucks. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna make a sub goal of, of six subs and then I'm gonna make a dono goal of nine dollars and it's gonna be 69. <laughs> I was thinking about all these ideas all day at, uh, while I was going through the day. I didn't I didn't get the dono goal but that's okay we pretty much uh, almost quadrupled the sub goal so I'll take it <laughs> different for me doing like a super short set. I usually like to um, like really ease into my screams. So it feels good to just kind of like mellow out now. Okay Poco, 100 bits, thank you so much. You're very sweet. one I'm gonna do like I'm gonna do it a little bit more 
kind of like how Orchestra did it. Instead of doing like a festival where it runs overnight, I'm gonna just do like a couple days kind of during the day and, and see who I can get on there. But I really want the festival to like be about improv, you know? So it's like, I want the people in the festival to really embrace the idea of like improv and exploration, you know? So. And I'm getting pretty into it. Um, if I can't do it in December, if I, if it, if it's too much for me, then I might do it in January. So we'll see. But hopefully I can do it in December. I also don't want to like clash with all the Christmas stuff and, and people's Christmas plans and like have it at a bad time, you know. But uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, Leslie Tanner, exactly. I just think that like people have done a lot of cool raid train festivals. I've I've been in like the Covers Fest, I've done Ambient Fest, Funky Fest, uh, a couple other fests that I can't think of right now, and it's like, the, there's something about like improv loops and improv jammers on Twitch that like, I feel 